Hey, welcome back. In one of my recent videos, I did a uh, uh, some test shooting with a sassafras shooter, and it went to Mr. Man of Kent, and he was telling me there's not any of them in the UK, so we got a couple of small ones here at the edge of the yard, got some uh, a couple of bigger ones back there in the wooded area, but uh, I'd like to show you these this time of year, the leaves will turn a little red, orange, rust color it starts getting this late in the year and some of the leaves are are pointed like that and some of them are three pronged kind of like a tulip poplar and uh, these small stems you can you can smell them they're kind of minty lemony like you can you can chew on them smell of them whatever you want and uh, people it's not a common thing that I'm aware of now, but uh, people used to uh, uh, take the, the roots and boil them to make sassafras tea. Uh, this one, it's not too big, but you see the bark, you know, the smaller ones, your bark first glance looks a little bit uh, like a oak, but as they get bigger, the bark is more pronounced and uh, deeper and it's a lighter, almost a brown color, different uh, uh, than an oak. Similar texture and pattern, but it's more of a, more of a brown. It's not what I would say is a, a soft wood, but it's not a not a hardwood like oak or hickory or uh, you know your other hardwoods. It's a pretty good firewood because it 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 blazes up good, but it's uh, it's not a long lasting wood. It's not a wood you you know, want to put in a stove or but if you wanted it to last all night long. But uh, I have used it, it's real easy to bud. Uh, and I've cut a couple of these smaller ones here because they're easier to get to and bend them over and I'm uh, taking uh, forks out of them that uh, look pretty good. And I got one right over here. I might have to mooch that one later this year when the sap starts going down. Unfortunately, it will be here before we know it. But uh, there they are. Little sassafras. Appreciate you stopping by. Everybody stay safe out there. And I'll catch you next time.